Hello guys and gals, welcome back to my channel. If you just so happen to be stopping by for the very first time, thank you so much for being here and welcome, welcome to my world of makeup here on YouTube. I was super, super, super excited about filming this first impression slash review on this particular um, foundation and concealer only because I've had it for some time, right? Yeah, I've had it for at least two, three months and I was like, listen, I need to test this foundation out. I saw some reviews where some persons liked it, some persons didn't like it, some persons felt it was this, some persons felt it was that. But I'm the type of person, you know, although I do read reviews and I see some really bad ones, I'm like, look, I know that everybody's skin is different, so I want to try it out for myself. And this foundation is basically technology in a bottle, at least that's what I call it. It's the Shiseido Synco Skin self refreshing foundation it is oil free and it has spf 30 it has its corresponding concealer the shiseido um self-refreshing concealer um i bought the shade 530 which is henna and in the concealer i bought the shade tan the foundation itself according to the site um this foundation actually it has red undertones so i bought the, the shade tan in the concealer because i really wanted that balance on my face i'm like look if, if my face is gonna look like extremely red at least I have you know a, a bit more golden in this concealer to help balance out that redness but um, to my surprise I thought this foundation matched me perfectly I'm a little skeptical when it comes to buying certain like new brands online like brands that I haven't tried before and I have to really really be guessing my phone I honestly don't think I'm really bad at guessing my foundation shade um, for certain brands but because this is so so new to me and I know you know the, the Japanese beauty is really making a wave in the beauty community I was a little bit skeptical and because you know um, they don't really have that much dark shades across the spectrum especially in this foundation so I was a little bit nervous and I thought I would have gotten my shade white but thank God you know I still have it. I tested this foundation out for two days. This is actually my second day wearing it and I've been wearing it for a couple of hours now and on the first day you guys are going to see that right after this clip. On the first day you guys are going to see me basically break down everything and show you guys you know my experience and everything. So if you want to see that then please stay tuned. <laughs> So just like all of my reviews, what I'm going to do is start off by reading what the claims are for the foundation and also for the concealer. On Shiseido's website, for the foundation, it's the, the, Synchro, the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. It's a weightless foundation with active force technology that synchronizes with the skin and self-refreshes non-stop for a 24-hour just applied look and flawless finish. Now that is what we... But I just read for the um, for the foundation. Now let me see what it says for the concealer. According to Shiseido's website, the Synchro Self Refreshing Concealer is a liquid concealer that immediately diminishes the appearance of imperfections, medium to full coverage, 24 hour wear, and it has a natural finish. All right, all right then. Well, let's just jump straight into this. I'm going to open the packaging for the concealer first. This is, ooh, this is like 5.8 milliliters of product in here, which is like, ooh, 19 fluid ounces. I find this, I find this is a little bit expensive for this much product. I mean, I know it's Japanese beauty and um, what I've seen from most Japanese beauty brands is that they really, in terms of their packaging, you know, it's really cute. I have to say this. I love packaging where I can actually see the products, like in terms of complexion products. I love packaging where I can see the product before I use it. And I love this. It's very nice and sleek. And I'm, I'm guessing it probably has one of the, yeah, it has a really nice applicator. Anyway, if I had mentioned it before, I bought this shade. What shade is this? This is the shade. Oh. 40210 so the concealer comes in 16 shades and the foundation comes in 30 shades and looking at the variations where i'm seeing here you could actually mm, it's almost like they jump from a really really dark shade to like a reddish shade to almost something that looks really really red oh so I'm, I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping because I really had to guess my shade. I know Japanese beauty is a little bit different. For those of you who may not be familiar with using Japanese beauty brands, yeah, they're, they, they kind of tend to be a little bit different in terms of the undertones. Like, 
I'm really, really good at guessing my foundation sheet, even just looking at it online. So I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that 530 is my shade. It's looking a little bit more lighter than I expected, but I know on the box that it says you're supposed to shake. And while I'm shaking it, I can actually see that it's getting a little bit darker. You may not be able to see it on camera, but while I'm shaking it, I could actually see, it was looking a little bit lighter than this, but while I'm shaking it, I could actually see it's getting a little bit darker. So I'm gonna start off by using my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. You guys know I am absolutely in love with this primer. All right, so I give this a good shaking. I gave it a really good shaking and it has a palm, which I love. Ooh. We hope we're going here. Oh, oh, okay, girl. I had to twist it around. All right, okay. That's one, two. That's two pumps. Let me start off with two pumps, just in case, you know. And yeah, yeah, I feel like it's looking much more darker than how it looked when I first got it. And I just gave it a couple of shakes. But what I love about this, just from feeling it on my hand, I, I'm definitely in love with the consistency of it because it's nice and runny and I love these kind of foundations because they work well with um, my oily skin so let me just see how this is going to look okay okay girl I'm liking it oh the feel of it is really really lightweight extremely extremely lightweight and I think I actually guessed my shade correctly. <laughs> I guessed my shade correctly, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. 530 was definitely it. Because this is blending into my skin like, ooh. Wow, check this side and then check that side. You could actually see my, you know, my little um, areas of blemishes and what's on what, what persons call beauty max because I have a lot of moles in my face so I'll, these might actually look like um, dried blemishes but a lot of them is like I have a lot of moles in my face like this is one, this is one, this is one this is one like yeah so people always mistaking them for blemishes but oh my god just look at this side and then look at this side wow uh uh girl let's get some more girl let's get two more pumps to put on this side and even it out Ooh, ooh la la i'm loving this wow i'm so proud of myself for being so spot on and choosing my shade oh my god i'm proud of myself i literally just took the excess off and just applied it to yeah this you know this area here kind of big so I don't think I need any more because that was literally four pumps. Two pumps over here, two pumps over here, and basically the rest on my forehead. I love the fact that it literally just melted into my skin. Like I didn't really have to do much um, in terms of uh, blending it out. Like even when I step, even when I go back a little bit further in the chair and I'm looking at myself in the mirror from the different directions. Oh yeah, girl, this foundation looks absolutely stunning on me. I love finish it looks the finish of this reminds me of the Lancome Tint Idol no, am I saying this right because I know, I know Lancome is French it's Tint Idol <laughs> it reminds me so much of my Lancome Tint Idol like it literally just blends out into your skin just like that and oh oh I'm just waiting to see how it looks when everything comes together so let's let's move on to the concealer now i'm not going to go in too heavy with this because i'm not sure how it's gonna look and this applicator is actually quite interesting i don't think i've seen a concealer with this type of applicator but yeah the feel of it yeah the the concealer has the same feels the same and i could tell that this is gonna blend out real easy. Let me stop talking and blend this out. This looks so good. Oh, girl. And this is how I normally blend out my concealers under my eye out, as we call our highlight. I normally start from the, the bottom and work, work my way up, just like that. And this is literally disappearing into my skin. I mean, look at that. Like, wow. This feels so effortless. This. Concealer and foundation is freaking amazing. The consistency of this reminds me of this this MAC concealer right here, the Studio Waterway Concealer. This is for persons who like that no makeup makeup look. I'm getting that same vibe from this Shiseido concealer. Wow, this foundation every t like the more this foundation dries down, the more I'm loving it. What I need to know is if it's actually 
is this supposed to dry down to a matte finish it doesn't say so I'm not sure what type of finish I'm supposed to be looking for it really doesn't say what type of um, finish it, it has neither does it <laughs> neither does the website but I, lo I love this um, cap where you can turn it like this to unlock and turn it back like this to lock it if only they need more um, foundation caps like this this is definitely <laughs> some serious technology here in these two um, containers right here but what I'm looking for is what the claims are when they say that it's self refreshing so what I'm going to do here I'm going to actually um, finish the rest of my face in terms of applying my powders um, I'm wondering if I should contour I think I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of contouring because I really want the foundation and concealer to see I really want to I really don't want to cover too much of the foundation so, and I really want to see how well it holds up in terms of you know being self self refreshing so I'm really going to go in I'm trying to figure out which I'm trying to figure out which um, powder I want to use. You know what, I think I'm just going to go in with the Fenty because this, if, if I want to try it with the Fenty because this is like my holy grail and if it holds up with the Fenty, then I know it's gonna hold up with the other, um, really supposed to hold up with the other um, powders that I have because Fenty is like my holy grail. So I have to test it with Fenty first, I'm sorry. Because I'm gonna do some really, really light contouring. I'm really trying not to apply too too much product over the foundation because I really want to see um, how well it's going to hold up just for maybe four to five hours I feel like that's enough time for me to determine whether I like this foundation or not and just from looking at it now I don't see any sweat breaking through or anything like that I can already tell girl so I just went ahead and finished the rest of my face if you're wondering why my lips are looking so popping I'm wearing this lip gloss from Artist Couture it's called Peep Show Okay, so I've been wearing this makeup for about an hour now, and let me tell you guys what I noticed. I had a bit of sweat right here, like right here in this area right here, in my upper lip area. And when I started moving around a little bit more, I noticed the sweat started to disappear. I'm, 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 this, this is not, I'm making this up. I use no powder or anything like that. I literally saw the sweat break through my makeup, and then it just absorbed again. That's what I saw. Because I could literally feel when there's sweat on my upper lip. And then when I look in the mirror, I was like, wait, I know I felt that sweat. And I know I saw the sweat in the big mirror right here. Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? So, so far, so good. I'm seeing that self-refreshing thing going on right here. I just want to know if sweat breaks through here, right here, and here. If it's going to do the same thing so I'm going to test this out for about two to three more hours and see exactly what happens this is what that's what I'm gonna do so I'll be back in about two to three hours time exactly 2 29 p.m. and I should be back around 4 30 yeah around 4 30 and let you guys see exactly what I'm talking about because I saw it I just need you guys to see it <laughs> I um I let me tell y'all something right. This foundation is just I'm falling in love with it. It's like probably it literally instantly moved up to one of my top five. One of the things I really want to do is test it out during those really really hot months. You know, like during the period like from June to August when you know it's like blazing hot. That's when I really want to test it out because I feel like right now, even though it's hot, it's not like blazing hot. So I really want to I really want to do like a second test. Well, can I say a second test because this is the second test that I'm wearing right now. But I really want to test it out during those really hot months and see how well it holds up in that humidity. And by the way, I don't think I mentioned this during the testing period just now, but this foundation retails for $47. And the concealer, as small as you see this little thing is, this is for like $30. Now, I'm not really sure about the price of the concealer because I'm, I'm, I'm... Don't quote me on it. I might be wrong, but um, I'm going to... Um, should I list it down? Yeah, I think I'm going to list it down in the description box and let you guys know exactly the cost of the concealer. I, I might be quoting the wrong price, but I know for sure the foundation retails for $47. I'm not really surprised at the price because considering that it actually has SPF and it's like active force technology in a bottle here, I didn't expect it to be anything lower than um, $35. 
and this book is as high as 40 stone that that's like the price of a Lancome foundation and I have bought Lancome foundation in, in maybe like a year because I was like honey I know y'all have some y'all French women make some really good things but Lancome kind of high $47 is kind of high and look at me I spent the same $47 and this this um Japanese beauty brand Shiseido so I'm not really I'm, I'm, I'm really not disappointed in the fact that I spent that $47 because according to its claims it did exactly what it said it was supposed to do and I am absolutely happy with the results would I recommend you buying it definitely but my my only thing is that I don't think everybody's gonna find their shade because it has 30 shades but I feel like um, when you look at like when you get to like the medium to dark shades because it's basically only five dark shades and I was I was so lucky to actually find my shade I feel like when it when when it drops down to the medium shades and you get to the more darker shades you're gonna have a bit of difficulty figuring out what your um, what your shade is so that's the only problem I see right there um, I don't know if they're going to um, expand their shade range I don't know but I have to say yes I am completely happy with these two things listen I need them to make this little thing right here a little bigger I'm sorry this is not working for me it's gonna finish for me in like a week time you guys know you guys know how much makeup I wear are you kidding me I mean I don't wear a lot but I'm just saying you know over a course of a week if I continue to use this it's gonna finish in a week I mean come on Shistido we need something better than this we need a bigger bottle of concealer okay Thing right. I do want to add if one if you want those persons are into like compact pressed powder the synchro skin self refreshing foundation actually does come in a compact powder form and they do have the stick concealer as well for persons who prefer stick um, concealers rather than the liquid I know some persons are uncomfortable with using liquid complexion products so they have the pressed powder and they have the stick foundation for those of you who prefer that type all right guys so we are basically at the end of this first impression slash rear test of the Shiseido Sync what is it called listen I need to get this name right the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation and and one other thing I love about this because I feel like my my thoughts you know I had them right there but they're just <laughs> one, one other thing I love about this is that it has SPF 30 in it um, on some occasions I don't always remember to apply my SPF I really really try to do it early in the morning before I apply my makeup you know like while I'm like, maybe making breakfast for my daughter or something like that I apply my SPF so it, it gets it gets a chance to actually settle in my skin before I apply my makeup yes I mean I wear makeup to work those of you who don't know me yes I do wear makeup to work I'm one of those to look you know I don't need to put on like a full face of makeup like this but I do love to have a little bit of color on my face and hello I'm a makeup artist I need to advertise my work okay girl. thank you guys so much for being here with me once again if you happen to have appreciated this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up on your way out drop me a comment down in the comment section and let me know videos that you guys want to see next and also let me know if you tried the Shiseido synchro long name foundation what is it called? Why? Why well, I can't remember this. Let me know if you try the Synchro, the, the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation and let me know your thoughts, whether you liked it, whether you didn't like it because honey, mm, you see this face here? Mm, you see this foundation here? Mm-hmm. I love it. All right, guys. Let me not keep you guys any longer. Thank you so much for being here with me once again and I'll talk to you guys real soon on my next upload. Bye-bye.